as a group, um, we collaborated, we came up with a problem that we found in our community. In our community, we saw that uh, people with Alzheimer's were feeling uh, alienated and they couldn't connect with people, so we wanted to uh, help them. We developed an app to uh, provide people with music, access to music and sounds and everything that could uh, help soothe them and uh, bring memories back. Uh, this experience really put us in a uh, real life situation. Just organisation. Being ourselves and then learning from our mistakes rather than, you know, what the teacher says is wrong or right. To not be scared of, like, what you can do. In like, the way that you're not learning content, you're not memorising content and then, you know, remembering it for a test which you'll then be tested on, you're actually you know, you're trying to come up with this end product which will actually make a difference you, and then, well, you can't unlearn relationships. Also with teamwork, mm -hmm. I feel like it's really different in school. Like, when we do group projects and stuff, we're said to work as a team and stuff, but Young Changes showed us that, like, everyone has a role. Um, I think the thing that I enjoyed the most was the fact that it was more like a guiding environment. To have that feeling of independence makes you like strive to want to do more. It's taught me to not fear failing down, collaborating with your peers, finding the best solution for the initial problem. With failing and coming up with a number of ideas, that's also design thinking and being creative. I think pitching skills and just talking to people, in like even if it's like just a small assignment or something, I'm so much more confident. The program taught us that you can change something, mm -hmm. you can change a problem, you can find the root cause of this and you can change it. And I think that's a really important lesson. Mm -hmm. I think as young people, we often are misinterpreted as mm -hmm. not caring, mm -hmm. you know, we're untrustworthy, mm -hmm. we're irresponsible. Mm -hmm. But in this learning environment that we were put in, when you ha when when this, uh, the teachers or the mentors trust you, they give you the responsibility, mm -hmm. you have to swim or you'll drown, mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. right? And so it's like that risk taking of mm -hmm. giving you, you're, you know, you're not even telling them what to do, you're guiding them. You're learning conventionally in school, you know, rote learning. We get bored. A while ago, we were asked um, on Ismodo what we thought um, the ideal classroom would have, you know, what yes. sort of qualities. People came back with, you know, intriguing, engaging, creative, these are things that I think Young Change Agents absolutely had, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the environment that we want. And once we're in that environment, you know, we can flourish independently. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. In conventional schooling, you focus on one subject at one time and you're told what to do. These are the outcomes, you do it. But in Young Change Agents, you're guided and you're using all these different skills from various subjects. You know, it's not science, it's not maths, it's not English. It's all of them put together. You, you, you use communicating, you use organising, you use collaboration, you use divergent thinking. All of these things which aren't specific to one occupation in the future, you will use them for the rest of your life. You cannot unlearn the things that you learn from Young Change Agents.